Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jaser. In this video, I'm going to solve another problem from BFE.dev. Um, actually, I've already solved uh, 58 coding problems. Let's show unsolved only. Let's just start from the easiest one. I think you have done this before. I think I've already done this before. Uh, let's just uh, do it. So the debounce is common technique used in web applications. Low dash solution would be great. Basic debounce function delay, which debounce function, which uh -huh, delays to invoke the, here's the example like this. Just delay it. So it's, um, it's very simple. Uh, we set a timer to trigger, uh, to, to call the function. And, uh, and if this called again, we clear the timer and uh, set it the new timer, right? So this function must be return a new function, and this function should be able to accept the uh, the uh, the write this. So function, let's get the arguments, and uh, let's uh, th th when this function is triggered, we should check if there is a timer in it. If uh, the timer is in it, we should clear it. If not, we will create a new timer. So we set the timer here. We set it to null. And then when it is called, we just uh, clear the timer. Clear timeout. And set the timer to a new one. A function wait. So, so this is it. I think, I think this is it. Hmm? No. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm sorry. I need to. Uh, the uh, um. When they just just trigger, say timeout trigger. I think. Uh, I need to call function call this and uh, arcs. Great, so this is it. Uh, post it. It's very simple. Uh, anyway, hope it helps. See you next time. Bye bye.